Hey guys, welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. If you haven't checked out my Twitch stream as of yet, you can check that out on twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Atomic Duck. Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different to the usual. Um, I thought it would be a good chance for me to run through a comparison of night vision goggles. So, patch 0.11 saw the addition of two night vision goggles which can e be either attached to a helmet with a suitable mount or to an MVG mask. Adjustments were made to existing MVGs as well, to give the new ones a place. In this video, I'll be comparing the items side by side at three different ranges and identifying key differences between all of them. This should allow you to choose which one is best for your needs. I'll also give my own opinion at the end of the video. So right now you can see that we're testing the AN PVS 14 Night Vision Monocular. The EFT wiki describes this as a portable visual search device which allows nighttime detection of targets on distances of up to 350 meters with a 40 degree FOV. This lack of FOV can clearly be seen in game. However, what is within your FOV is quite easy to see and it's quite easy to identify movement, especially at short to medium ranges. This option slots onto a mount, which then attaches to any capable helmet for taking that mount. That includes 6Bs, fast MTs, or the new Cryer airframe helmets. The monocular device is sold at 99,308 rubles by Skier at level 3, and the mounts by Peacekeeper at level 2. Now, this is the PNV. 10T night vision and straight away you can see a clear difference with these goggles and the monocular device. The colour is a much darker green which I'm not personally a fan of because targets tend to blend in on certain backgrounds especially when they're stationary. Even at close range you can see that my friend here would be quite hard to see unless he was moving. The only reason why I can see him at medium distance is because he's moving and he's on a clear background, he's silhouetting. If he was, say, in some foliage, it would be much harder for me to see him, and you can even see this at times during the footage I've collected here. The upside of this device is it offers a much wider FOV, as expected really. Both the goggles and the dovetail adapter are provided by Skier at level 2, which is interesting because this means you can buy it before the monocle device, despite the wider FOV. On top of that, they only cost 30,240 rubles. You can buy three of these for the cost of one monocular device. Now, the new addition that we're looking at here was added in point 11. This is the Armasite N15 Night Vision and Armasite MVG Mask. Now that's a key point. First and foremost, you cannot wear these with a helmet. You have to wear these with a skull lock mask. That basically means that you have no helmet. That is a downfall in itself. They're described on the EFT wiki as a civilian alternative to contract military devices installed on a compact and ergonomic body. So essentially, these are a civilian device, which accounts for them not being mounted on a the helmet. They'll give you a wider FOV than the monocle, but I personally find the quality quite grainy, which makes it hard to spot stationary targets from what we see in our rudimentary testing. You'll need Ragman level 2 for the mask and Peacekeeper level 3 for the goggles, which are bought at $774. Still cheaper than the monocle device. Now this is the second new addition as of point 11. These are the GP NVG 18 night vision goggles. These goggles offer a full panoramic display, making them a superior option to all other NVG devices, hands down. It offers a lighter green colour than the second option that we were looking at earlier, which isn't quite as grainy as the monocular device or the armor side device. These can be mounted to a helmet without the use of an adapter. Whilst they are undoubtedly the best option, they don't come cheap. The device will cost you a total of $1,651 currently from Peacekeeper, and you'll need to have his reputation at level 4. Now I'm doing some testing here at longer ranges, just as a final note for this, uh, this comparison. And you can see why, again, that these goggles are the best. The last ones we're looking at. As we're going through the testing, you can see that... At long ranges, it's really, really hard to identify a target unless they're moving, especially if they're against a background such as a tree or the house behind them. I think the uh, the monocle is actually one of the most useful. 
in my opinion. Yes, it provides you with a, a much smaller FOV, but what's in your FOV is very easy to identify. You don't have to try and work out whether somebody is a person or a bush when they're stationary. The armor sight civilian mask, I think, is an interesting decision, but due to the cost right now, I think I'd rather just take the darker green two eyepiece MVGs that we looked at earlier. Um, I think that they're, they're again they're interesting, but right now I don't think they have a niche. Uh, the fact that you can't wear a helmet with them makes them significantly less effective. Finally, we come back to the GP MVG18, and again you can see why it's the best device in the pool. It's a lot clearer at long distances without a film grain effect coming into play. So I hope you enjoyed the comparison, guys. Uh, I think it's a pretty clear cut as to which was the winner, but there is some very interesting facts around the um, first and second pieces which may cause you to make a decision between the two. Um, again, guys, if you haven't checked out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Atomic Duck, I'd appreciate you stopping by and checking it out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.